Hey guys, I'm, hey guys, I'm about to watch um, DC's Legends of Tomorrow, season season five, episode eight, I think. Yeah, episode episode eight. Um, Zari, not Zari. Um, so basically, so the last episode um, was Ray and Nora's last episode. Last episode, um, they tried to have a bachelorette party during when they were trying to after they got the loom at a bar and. London, where Shakespeare is writing his plays, but they got drunk, used their powers in, used their powers in public, accidentally erased their own memory because they were too drunk to erase Shakespeare's, and so his, and so Romeo and Juliet was changed to Romeo v Juliet, Dawn of Justness, um, and he was incorporating a bunch of other like, so they had to like go back in time and make sure that the play, you know, the play became a success, and you know Nate was upset that he was the last one to know because. Ray was afraid of telling Nate the truth. Um, but eventually they get a proper goodbye, and I don't know. It just feels like it's gonna. The show's gonna be like. It's gonna be like a void left by you know, Ray and you know is ever being the always optimistic and lovable, love you know, adorable, and, you know, lovable dork. Um, and. Yeah, so I guess Zari not Zari. I mean, they're going to continue to find the pieces of the loom, and maybe this is when, um, I guess, is the hopefully Zari gets, his, gets her memories back, and maybe we get like a um, mesh of the two um, personas from both timelines. So. Oh! Boss. To Hayward's room at approximately 2.30 a.m. I tried to wake you, but you assaulted my mainframe, repeating snooze. Hey, let's just be cool about this, okay? I still had my pajamas on, which means we didn't... Oh, my God. Like, take it easy. You slept walked into my room, which means something must have brought you in here. And let's not forget, in another timeline, you and I... We don't start with the dream girl crap. I'm still trying to... This is a judgment-free zone. I'm not one to shame the sexual activity of two consenting adults. Shame's a good thing. Keeps you from hooking up with someone and ending up the parent of a 16-year-old daughter. Oh, well, what a uh, naughty business have I stumbled across then? Uh, nothing. We just, we like um, hanging out in home. Wait, no. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Pretty much where they all the Arrowverse shows film except for you know, Black Lightning is in Atlanta. Nice. It's a keepsake album, so I can never forget all the times that you bailed on me. Well, I was in prison. Not since 2015. You know, I never actually went to homecoming. I went back inside to get my purse, and when I came back out, you were gone. And I kept telling Kirk to wait because I wanted to say goodbye to you. But you had bailed, like always. So keep it. Well, oh, it's the crew. Wait, if they're dead, who's shooting season 15? You leave a piece of the loom of face somewhere long enough, there's going to be consequences. Don't worry about it, I'll nab it. No, John. Look, this is my mess, all right? I'll do it. Look, all I've got to do is run over there, put my hand in that hole, grab the ring. Bob's your uncle. All right, well then let's go before your sister shows up. Who you calling old? I knew it. 
So why are you even asking me about Bear Hood? I thought this was about me and the strange visions I've been having. Wow. New me came out shockingly self-absorbed. Who are you calling the new you? Who even are you? Well, you. If the legends hadn't saved the world and you grew up in dystopian Seattle. Once the timeline crystallized, you were out in the real world and I was thrown in here with the rest of the totem bearers. Bleeding. You're mortal, just like them. Pathetic. <coughs> Apologize, and we can heal you. We can restore order to this madness. I like the madness. Save the world, twice. I'm just a failed catch-up celebrity. My family's alive. And you, you actually seem like a lot of fun. I thought you were dead. Me too. My sister. That would have been... You don't belong here. What? No more defying fate. No! Don't kill me. I'm a god. Yeah, I've faced worse. Gideon, you better be awake, because I need you to open the doors now! It hurts. into this mess and now he's dead because of you can that loom bring him back if we get the last piece yeah great get out let's go oh, hold on a second it's not that simple all right are we being haunted by a pair of bloody gods this situation just got a hell of a lot more dice i can handle dicey 
I can handle whatever it takes to save my brother. And until you bring him back, I am with you every minute of every damn day. So, uh, that was pretty unexpected. Um, so I guess Sarah surviving is like, at this point, it's like, it's almost like a joke that is almost like Sarah's basically like the Arrow versus version of Kenny McCormick. So we all know even if she died or didn't really die, it wasn't going to stick. Um, yeah, so I guess this is how she gets her new power. We're not sure what that is. Um, and we don't know how she survived. I don't know if it has anything to do with her being the paragon of destiny. Um... And I guess you know you know finally you know is finally getting the second piece of the loom and getting some pro you know getting some kind of some like progression in that story storyline I actually ended up getting the two pieces I thought they were gonna lose it to that um Charlie's sister the two the two rings, the two pieces of the loom. And, um, they, surprisingly, they didn't. And, I guess, like, the whole, sub, and, you know, the whole subplot of, you know, Mick going back and trying to be in different parts of her, his daughter's life, but not actually, you know, sticking around, only being able to, but I guess the whole, like, coming and going just felt like he just, you know, he didn't really care, didn't care all that much, and, it still made him look at bad parents, so he still had to, like, open to the fact that he was not there. You know, he's, he, he, he should have... He still has to open to the fact that he's, he hadn't been a full-time parent, and so he has to make do with the time he has and try to earn her his daughter's forgiveness. Um, and, you know, I, that whole vision quest was not what I was expecting, and it just kind of makes me want the, you know... I don't like... I mean... I don't hate the new Zari, but it's like it kind of makes me. She, I mean, she still makes me. She still makes me laugh, but it still made me kind of miss like the old Zari and make me want her, want her back even more. So, so now I don't know if we're gonna like see you know see her again or what's gonna happen. If maybe the Luma Faith is gonna play some kind of role in that. Um, I was surprised they killed off Rod. Um, of course, we know that I know that that's not going to stick. I've seen the trailer for that aired before this new batch of episodes, so she's going to be fine. And but yeah, it was pretty good. Epi yeah, pretty good episode. Um, what do you guys think of it? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.